Alrighty, so we're going to be H polishing it up, making sure you have back face masking turned on under brush, uh, auto masking, back face masking, and holding down Alt and letting go of Alt so you can push along those surfaces. And then on anything where you need to break that edge or bevel that edge in a sculptural way, make sure you use Trim Dynamic or uh, any, any of those brushes that don't have Respect Edge in their um, properties underneath the brush. Uh, what would that be? Brush Samples. So here I'm just trying to pick and choose, and I'm also using Damien Standard and holding down Alt to kind of pull up to that ridge, and then using the clay brush to go and backfill. And here, uh, you know, in the original skull we had a hole right there for the zygomatic arch, and then I think in the Terminator Dark Fate it was kind of filled in, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I don't know. We could, I guess we could fill that in. So we simplified the design a little bit, had a little bit more fun. Or I mean, I guess fun is suggest subjective. Um, changed it uh, arbitrarily is probably more accurate. So we're just going through here, and I'm also probably going to fill in that nose cavity. I don't, not that you can't do that, and it can have some interesting kind of ins and outs, but especially if you're going to do like a game res version of this, and by game res I mean, uh, just put it in an engine, you pick and choose your battles. If you're going to have a whole lot of polygons filling up cavity spaces that you're never really going to see, it might behoove you to go ahead and just fill those in and put a dark AO or something in there to kind of stop the spec and kind of fill that in, as opposed to having a bunch of sinus cavities taking up resources and texture space and polygons that you're never going to really appreciate. And, you know, they kind of, not, not that this was going to be like, oh, I'm going to definitely make this for a game, uh, but I always have that in the back of my head, like optimizing my <laughs> my high res so that I don't have to do a lot of heavy lifting or deep thinking later on where I'm like, oh, kind of back myself into a corner optimization wise. Yeah, there you go. Just go in and inflate. And this is all just Dynamesh too and various, it's kind of up in the resolution as needed, but nothing too fancy, and that was just a mask and rotate. So remember you can do that as well, and you can use booleans here, you can use insert mesh brushes, and boolean those out, or actually use actual booleans. And uh, premature for me to think about, at least for me, you, your mileage may vary as far as like, maybe I start rebuilding this. Uh, you can rebuild this at any time. If you've got it, I will crash there. But again, no big deal when you crash. Just go into your comma key, lightbox, quick saves, and open up your recovered Z tool. Um, but, you know, pick and choose your battles as far as like, well, if you've already got the forms figured out and know exactly what you want to do, that's when I decide to rebuild and start getting into box modeling and creasing and sub D, resolving sub D edges, uh, which, especially on like curved organic surfaces with hard cuts in them, um, I tend to leave that really late. I tend to want to figure everything out because I don't want to be caught noodling a bunch of, of verts and just being like uh, in, in my own version of hell where it's like, uh, this is not fun. Uh, this is fun. Like just kind of figuring things out and going through and making arbitrary, not arbitrary shapes, but you know, light weighting, maybe using some of those light weighting principles, um, you know, and manufacturing and stuff. And not that I'm thinking too heavy or deep into that, but it's something that would be aesthetically pleasing and uh, light weighting. Another crash, and I noticed that if you do end up doing a lot of splitting off, that can sometimes be problematic. And we'll talk more about splitting later, um, or maybe we already did, I forget. I'm, I'm doing this over the course of a couple days uh, in and out. It's Super Bowl Sunday today, so I'm uh, just doing this while my wife is doing stuff for that. Um, going through here and just using a little pinch, a little smooth little Damien standard to kind of cut in those creases and then H polish to kind of sharpen those up. And then also uh, deciding like what to simplify and you probably don't need to put a whole lot of effort into this unless the skull is going to be rolling down a hill and you see the underside, in which case go for it. In which case we might be doing that, I don't know. Um, so I put a little bit of thought into like what's going on here and then you have to decide, okay, do I split all these things off into their own component pieces and make it all perfectly functional so that like it could be animated and that's where it can kind of be like, well, if you're never ever going to see it animated, then don't waste your time, but uh, sometimes it is fun to waste your time. Uh, yeah, just pulling up these surfaces here, and uh, sometimes I'll pull up to an edge and then I'll come back in and then I'll, I'll run a trim dynamic bevel along there. And like I said, for like hard surface box modeling, if I'm making a crate, sci-fi crate or something, uh, it's a lot easier for me just to go in and box model and boolean and that kind of stuff, but something organic like this, I, I much prefer going in and figuring it out, even if it's loose. Uh, like this is, and at the end of the day, this is 
that the final project for this is a concept block out. It's not a final like asset ready for uh, its big its day on the big screen. It's it's basically just a concept sketch for approvals. Now it's that's a destructive way to work, but this was more of a fun, just type of fun little fan arty thing. Nothing, nothing serious. So I didn't mind just going in and figuring stuff out in a ZBrush sculpt and honestly just calling it a day. Like, yeah, I could have rebuilt this whole thing and done the whole sub D surfaces on every single little thing. But at the end of the day, like if I'm just baking this out and having fun with it in Substance Painter and getting approvals, there's no reason to do that. By the time, especially for video games, this gets baked down to a 512 or a 1024. Or a 2048 even, and nobody cares that you went in and did all this amazing uh, hoops jumping through box model wise. It, well, Art Station will care, so you you make that argument, um, but uh, not a good production argument, I guess. Um, unless you needed to do variants and make it super non-destructive, in which case, uh, you know, if it's going to save you downstream time, then put in the effort up front. If it's going if you if it's going to save you days of work later to put in an extra hour and a half worth of work now, then of course, by all means do that. Uh, but if it's going to be hours or days worth of work for something that's not ever going to be appreciated and production isn't going to see the benefit of, then don't waste your time. Of course, like I said, uh, time wasting is subjective. One, one person's wasted time is another person's um, forgetting that you're recording and it's just paused. I must have walked away from the computer here. <laughs> Oops. Hey, well, you know what? We'll get back into it. Um, but yeah, so this is just us staring at this guy. What else? And we got his jaw in there and doing like a functional jaw thing uh, may or may not be worth it. If you are going to articulate this thing in animation, you can get away with a little bit more of it. Just you can have a little bit of crashing and stuff, but it's going to be physically articulated. Then you, you might have to pay a little bit more attention to surfaces, um, how joints are going to work together. And if you're certainly if you're going to fabricate this into a model that's going to be made, uh, you know, pay attention. But this is just a concept sculpt. We'll figure out like what I want to break off later in later videos and we'll go into detail on that. Uh, but it's still, it's going to just be a concept sculpt. It's not production-y. It's not getting super like into the weeds. It's, it's more of fun. Have fun with it. Figure it out. Get all the hard questions answered. And then the rest of it's just technique. 